What's up guys, this is HD Gadget and today we're going to be checking out this, a wide angle slash macro lens for your phone. Now guys, I can't be called or keep reached out to me again and said, Dudley, check out this. So I'm going to go ahead and do so. Let's get right into the box. Okay guys, so if we open up the box, you can see we're greeted by a manual here, as well as the warranty information. And then we've got what looks like the lens itself. Whoa. Then we have what looks like a little clip. So this will clip the lens to your iPhone. So you screw in the lens there. Then underneath this bit of foam, we've got what looks like a cleaning cloth for the lens. Then we've also got a little bag here. I don't think it'll protect it from any impacts because um, it is just made out of cloth. But um, scratches and stuff like that, I think this bag will have you covered if you put your lens in there. So yes guys, a really nice box to open and it's got everything you could possibly need for this lens. Let's go and test it out. Okay, so here we go guys, here's the lens itself. And if we take off the cap, you can see just how big the lens is right there. It's absolutely massive. And I think this will give your phone a really nice wide angle. It does have a little rim going around the outside. So if you set it down like that on a table, it's not gonna smash up completely. And then we have what looks like another cap on the back which exposes where your phone will be looking through. So guys, if we put this lens in the way of the camera, you can see through it, and then you can see the bottom of that monitor over there. Then if I take it away, you can see the shot goes a lot narrower and you can't see the monitor anymore. So guys, if we have a look at the clips, you can see we've got rubber going around the inside of the bits that will be touching your phone. So this will stop your phone from getting scratched and it'll also grip really, really well onto the face of the phone. So as you can see when it's on your phone, you want the camera to be right in the middle of that little circle cut out there and then what you can do is just begin to screw on uh, the lens there because it all screws together really really nicely and there we go guys the lens is added to the iPhone okay guys so this lens works off three bits of hardware one is right here and then there's actually two bits added together here which makes the wide angle lens but if you want just the macro lens which is this little bit here you have to unscrew it and as you can see here it is there so as you can see everything's out of focus apart from the subject which is super close so it has a quite a short depth of field you have to be really really quite close for it to work and there we go guys you can see the lens is on the back of the iPhone it does stick out quite a bit um, but then again, you won't have it on your phone the whole time. You can just easily take it off and then add it back on when you want to. So yes, guys, I'm going to go and take some photos of this right now. Let's do one in the studio to start off with. So that is the view I see kind of behind. And as you can see, it is quite wide angle shot. Without the lens on, you can see it's not quite as wide. Okay guys, so another thing I want to test is the videoing with the wide angle lens on here. So I'm going to go and take this outside and see if we can get some shots. Okay guys, so this is on the iPhone with the lens attached and if I take it away, you can see the shot is a lot closer in. Okay guys, so again, recording on the iPhone, this is without the macro lens on the front facing camera. Let's add it on the front facing camera. Can we even do that? Yes we can. So people like vloggers could use this um, kind of to walk about and you can just see a lot more in the shot. So there we go guys, after taking a few photos and videos of this, it's almost like a little GoPro built onto your phone, um, except for obviously on your phone, you don't have to worry about copying over the footage, it's straight there. It does have a little bit of a fisheye effect, so things that would be normally straight are a little bit distorted and bent. But anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed, if you have, please leave a thumbs up down below, also please subscribe here if you're new, also down below will be a link which will take you where to find this on Amazon, and I'll see you guys in my next video.